Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the bunch of developer tools. So let's say you have a project and you're working together in a small team on a project. So you have probably some server guys who are programming all your PHP code and then you have some front-end developers which are programming JavaScript and they might not be involved in the in the server side code at all and therefore maybe it's quite hard for them to look through the code and to really understand what's going on. Uh, so for productivity, we have some tools for getting an overview which methods are provided by the backend. So let's dive right into it. So we're going to uh, to github.com slash buncher. Here are all our repositories. And we're going to the buncher developer remote API. Okay, and download the project. And in the meanwhile, we're going to check the instructions. So, bunch of uh, developer tools will go through all the PHP application and figure out which models and which control methods are exposed. And then it, it adds all the code, uh, the information it can find about the pro uh, the code to it and presents it in a nice and clean interface. So to install it, we just have to copy this line of code, which will tell KPHP that there is a plugin here. And for the purpose of this presentation, I'm going to use the the project which we already created in the first two tutorials of this session. So we're going to the config and bootstrap and just at the end we're going to add the new plugin we're going to save it and now of course we have to copy the plugin to the correct place and we have to make sure that the name is the correct plugin name so we rename the download to bunch of developer remote API is that the version number and the bunch in front Perfect, so we're adding it inside our app, inside our plugin folder, and now it should be right beside the bunch of plugin. Looks good. So now we have installed it on localhost. Okay, so here you can see KPHP is set up perfectly. And now we're going to developer remote API in .html and this is how the plugin looks like. So we can see right now here there are two models exposed with full grut. So you can see here the small overview we have full grut support. We can read data, create it, update it, destroy it. That's the functions which we need for for using the the bunch of automatically created models. And then we have here a submit function, which is quite important if you want to submit data, including files. Every time you're creating an XGIS form, you can just use the submit function and it will upload files to the server. Okay, so now let's see how the API handles the information and how it handles exposed methods. So we're going to write the exposed method. Let's say we're going in the book controller and here we are adding get funniest book title. It's quite simple. And we just return funny. Now, so that bunch of, uh, that in the front end you can use the method, we just have to add a PHP doc comment. Make sure you have two stars here. That's really important. Otherwise, it don't work. And we are going to define it as at bunch of remotable, and that's it. Now save it, and now we should have another method. Okay, now you can see that here the book also has has a different icon. 
and here it has a remotable method which is called get funniest book title. But right now it doesn't it can't guess the return value and there's no information about it. So let's make it a bit more complex. Okay, at first we are going to tell it that it returns oh, sorry. that it returns a, a string which is the book title and then let's add in a parameter which is called second and that means um, that we will add the second funniest book title return second funniest title okay perfect and now let's see what the API do, does uh, the, the API view so now when we open it we have uh, that a, a parameter which is called second but we can't guess the the uh, type of parameter and the return value is a string perfect now let's go ahead and add some information for example, this is a. Wait, let's add it at the top. This is a very cool function. Use it, love it. And here we add uh, Boolean second true to get the second best one okay save it again and check out what's happening okay so now we have the types here and we have information here perfect so for front-end developers now it's really easy to to find the the methods they want to use that makes programming a lot easier for JavaScript guys I hope you like it you can find the project on GitHub and enjoy it.